Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 with the New Nations mod as the Mali Empire. In the last episode we finished our war with Spain and Russia successfully, though we didn't get much out of it. At least we won. Uh, rebels in Liberia. They are dealing with that just fine. We also have a lot of new troops building factories which should start finishing quite soon. Maybe help our military rank a bit. And our industrial rank in the case of factories, though I think we were relatively far behind Japan, so may not have much chance of catching them up by the end of the game. Which is approaching in only about five years or so. A dispute between local Marathi leaders and Malian officials in Pune has exploded into a riot and the violence quickly spread throughout Mali and Bombay. So let's see. Pops in Mali and Bob Bombay are going to gain militancy and nationalist agitation, okay. Well, fair enough. Things are apparently getting a bit militant over here. Austria has declared war on Hungary. Austrian Hungarian War of Imperial Restoration. Okay. To acquire Transdanubia. So the US is in on Hungary's side. They're also involved in, of course, this other ongoing Fifth Great War, which is not making much progress in either direction in recent times, but we'll see how that goes. And we can also pass a reform. And we have all kinds of liberation movements. People want unemployment subsidies, apparently. Which I suppose we could allow. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, let's do a check of our sphere members and make sure we're not in danger of losing any. Dahomey is fine. Ghana. Nobody above neutral. Liberia. Everyone but us is hostile. Britain is friendly with Niger. I think we'll decrease their opinion there. Shona, we have... Okay, but um, Germany is up to cordial. So I think we'll kick Germany down a notch there. And South Africa, we haven't re-sphered yet, but we have got the got Great, Great Britain banned. Uh, so we should be able to get them back into our sphere and then also maybe kick them down to cordial before they get unbanned. So let's keep an eye on that one. Uh, once we finish researching the next level of railroads as well, we can get some of those built to Indori Thor. Okay. So no major unemployment anywhere. So have successfully rebuilt our factories to the point that nobody is really unemployed there. I think we went from ninth to ninth to eighth in industrial rank, so that is pretty good. Men for the colonies. The colonial office has suggested we organize a recruitment drive to get more of our people to migrate to the colonies so as to establish a more permanent Malian presence in them. The office has found a colony which it deems suitable for such a drive and the proposal is really only awaiting our signature. So Ghana will get land, liberty, labor, giving population growth, extra assimilation rate, and immigrant attraction. Or we can get extra population growth in Bornu. And we'll try and see if we can get more assimilation in Ghana. 
and see if we can possibly convert that to a state. We are at point eight accepted culture bureaucrats, so we have a decent chance. Mining efficiency. About our other colonial states, is there any chance of getting them? Well, Bombay is very unlikely, as is Yoruba states, and we are also working on Chad, which is only at 0 0.03. So, really, Ghana is the only one that's likely to get to the requisite number of bureaucrats. We can add South Africa back to our sphere. Have the next level of railroads. So I think we'll, I suppose, go ahead and get infiltration here. We still haven't invented gas attack, though we do have still four percent chance. Um, I'm not sure whether this is monthly or yearly. Does it say anywhere? Probably not daily. Factory throughput and mining efficiency there is good. And let's see how this war is going. So Italy and Russia's side is making some progress. Almost back to zero percent. And it looks like Austria is succeeding in their war. Lawless suffragettes, a more mili militant wing of the Malian suffragette movement, has conducted a violent protest campaign against government authorities in one of our states. Local conservatives speak gloomily about the unraveling of the nation's moral fabric and the end of Western civilization. Okay. All pops in Guinea that support conservative gain militancy. Liberals gain militancy. And I guess everyone gains one consciousness, okay. That's fine. So unfortunately it seems like the war goal that they have added is going to require basically a 100% war score from them, so who knows if they'll actually manage to win that. So Spain wants access, I guess because they have rebels. I think I'm just going to deny that. So, this ban lasts until August. Which means we can decrease opinion there now. Which should set them back far enough. And then we can probably ban them again when we get back up to 65 and that should keep them out of there well enough. So once our infamy ticks down to below 20, we may look around for another potential conquest. Or 19.5 in the case of trying to take some land maybe from France. Uh, organic work. The philosophy of organic work developed in occupied Poland largely as a response to attempts at suppressing Polish national identity and culture undertaken by Prussian and Russian authorities. The philosophy influenced by the positivism of Auguste Comte, Herbert Spencer, and John Stuart Mill stated in essence that productive work rather than revolution and uprising was the key to developing a national consciousness and ultimately the way to peacefully strive for national liberation, as in Poland, so also in Kano. Okay, so we can support it, in which case we'll get extra farming and mining efficiency at the cost of some increased consciousness. or let it run its own course. Which is the same thing, but for less long. 
I will support it. That seems okay. Okay, lower mobilization impact is nice in the event that we have to mobilize again. And it looks like we have a lot of railroads under construction. Though, apparently the timber is the main problem here. Communist riot. The tense situation in one of our states has been aggravated by the presence of communist agitators. So we can not allow this talk to spread, giving socialists more militancy and communists a lot more militancy, or have poor Strata become more communist. Uh, we'll let them become more militant, I guess. Didn't have that much of an effect, so it's probably fine. Okay, the Mud March, which is suffragettes again. So we can have all pops gain consciousness, all pops become more li liberal. Or we can ban public meetings. Our current stance on public meetings is that they are allowed, so... We could roll back that reform, giving everyone a lot more militancy. I think we'll just let everyone gain a little consciousness. Okay, and we finish that research. Maybe we'll go for the electric furnace now. Okay, more farming efficiency. We probably actually do have more troops available to build, so... Let's do that. And I'll build some over in India as well. And let's actually build two artillery and one hussar over there. Which hopefully will be enough to deal with any revolts that happen. So we don't have to ship any troops over. It would be nice. Um, we can probably upgrade naval bases, actually. Unless they're already all upgraded. Which they actually are, okay. Um, except this one. You will get upgraded. Probably could stand to work on naval tech a little bit. Marathi Rebellion in Malian Bombay. A dispute between local Marathi leaders and Malian officials in Bijapur has exploded into a riot and the violence quickly spread throughout Malian Bombay. The Malian army is stamping at the rebellion as best it can, but fears persist that this could develop into a much larger problem if it continues. So, more militancy and stuff over there. That's fine. Well, that's already fine, but... It is what it is. Um, and if we were looking for other uncivilized targets, we are not left with a lot of options. Maybe we can build airplane factories, though. Unless we want to go for some of the inland kingdoms here, which I don't really want. I guess Yemen is really the only remaining one. This is actually uncolonized. Why is this still uncolonized? Let's get it colonized, because why not? That's strange. Uh, okay, so we have discovered the vacuum tube. And still this war is not really going anywhere. The Austrian-Hungarian War, though, is proceeding pretty well for Austri Aust Austria. Austria? That is not even a real country. So we gain extra attack for our troops. Well, I guess yes, since they have managed to full-occupy Hungary. 
that explains their success there, I guess. Oh, and communists have enforced their demands in France. Pretty unfortunate for France. They're not particularly weak militarily. Well, they are actually for France. We would have lost some prestige from that as well. Which brings them actually somewhat closer to our level. It's kind of tempting to try and go to war with them, actually. Who are you allied with? Nobody of any consequence? Any chance we could get an alliance with Germany? They don't like our infamy. Well... Maybe Italy? Oh, we actually already are allied with Italy. Uh, if we declared war on France and brought in Italy, we could probably win that without too much trouble. Italy's strength is pretty good, though of course they are involved with this war that is ongoing, so they might not be inclined to actually join another war, though their troops aren't actually doing anything up here apparently. Oh, and Austria and the US have peaced out. Or they pieced Austria out of this war. No, no, that was the other war between Austria and Hungary, and they accepted a white peace, actually. Seems stupid, oh well. That's their business, I guess. And Spain is having some rebel problems down here. Jacobin rebels. So the CB we would want against France if we were to do that. Uh, they're actually allied with Liberia now, interestingly. But we'd probably want the Humiliate CV. And apparently we can't actually justify any wars against them for some reason. Not sure why, but there you go. Uh, Austria just declared war on their new en enemy, Italy. And we have been called in, so we'll accept. We definitely want to stay on Italy's good side if we hope to use them against France, though I probably won't actually go up and help them. I guess Austria has sort of seen an opportunity with Italy involved in the current war they're in, but Italy is not actually committing any troops to that war, so they're in a much better place than it might appear. And they're mostly winning these initial battles, it looks like. Really need to reinforce this one, though. they didn't. International crisis in Provence, okay. Hmm. So Germany is backing um, Corsica, as is the UK. We don't have an option even to participate because we're involved in a war. But it looks like Corsica is going to get liberated. Which is indeed the case. Cat and Mouse Art, or Act, Act, uh, which is an infamous British law passed in 1912 in order to combat the suffragette tactic of using hunger strikes as a means to build sympathy for the suffragette cause. So we can end the legislation, giving more militancy in Windward Coast, or we can ignore the matter give liberals more consciousness. And we'll let them become more consciousness. Become more conscious, rather. I'm having a lot of trouble speaking today, for some reason. So this is going to go in Italy's favor. Hmm. If Sweden would actually take their army further south here and fight some of the Austrian troops, that would be a better idea, I think, than sieging up that land. Okay, we've discovered gas defense capability, which is pretty good. Um, we now have uh, still got a 4% chance to discover gas attack, but at least we 
won't be suffering any minus three penalties in any future battles. Okay, we get some extra coal and iron stuff there, and I guess we'll research high sea battle fleet so we can upgrade some of our naval bases further. This war isn't going as well for Italy as I kind of expected. Well, they are technically winning. I suppose we could bring some troops up and actually help. Which we can actually probably afford to do this time, which we couldn't really before in the previous war that we were called into by them. Sure, we did build some extra transports, so why don't we? I'm going to assume that Austria has no navy and Croatia does, so we will need to bring up our fighting ships also. Just in case. But I think we will go and help, but it will have to wait for the next episode because we're out of time here, so thanks for watching. And join me again next time.